Hey everybody, hello, how are you? Cheryl here. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Welcome if you're new. Uh, my name is Cheryl Horvath and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator uh, in Woodenville, Washington. Uh, coming to you today from Surprise, Arizona, where it's nice and sunny, a little toasty. Um, I think we're hitting around 111 degrees today, something like that. So, um, great day to stay inside in the AC and get crafty. Um, it's been a it's been a bit since I've been online. I actually missed about two weeks of recording my, uh, what do I call them, Quick Tip Tuesday. It's actually Thursday today, but I um, had to do a quick little jaunt back to Michigan to uh, help out with some family stuff. My dad kind of fell ill, and my mom and my brother needed some help, so I um, was there for several days and I'm just now getting back into the swing of things. So um, my quick tip for today has to do with uh, Stampin' Up! ink pads. So let me turn the camera down and um, show you what I'm talking about here. So I just ordered a whole new set of, of Stampin' Up! ink pads to, so, to keep in my um, Arizona house because I was shipping them back and forth in priority flat rate boxes and it was costing me a fortune every time I'd come. I just can't imagine being somewhere without my ink. So <laughs> um, so I decided to just splurge and get a whole new set. So I spent a, lot, a couple hours yesterday just prepping my ink pads, um, getting them open out of the packaging. And then how many of you knew that these were labels on the back that we um, were intended to label the front and insides of your ink pads. So there's one, two, three, four, five strips. Now this is an older um, color, I should say, mint macaron. These are, I've ordered the, well, that's actually a, a new color. Um, when you order the sets, they come in sets of like regals, brights, neutrals, and subtles. Um, and then you buy a set for the new in color. So when you buy all the regals, they all come in a package and then they all come individually wrapped. And so they all have to be unwrapped. And, um, and then once you get the plastic off, you pull off the, uh, the cover of this sh little sheet of labels. So when you pull this off, you wanna make sure you leave the strips behind like that. So what you're gonna end up with is this little piece here which you can throw away and now you've got a couple different languages so uh, we make one product for all markets and um, so there's an English and then I don't know what two languages these were but you can see here this was when we still had Japan as a market and so there's a label in Japanese I think that's Japanese um, and so you're intended to use the one for your language, which is English, so I'm gonna grab that one. I'm gonna turn the ink pad so that it's in the direction of, you know, if I were looking at it, and then flip it up and put it on the end, which is the end that opens. And you're just gonna carefully stick it down right there. So it's nice and centered. Then if you want, you can take one of these other ones and stick it on this end like so. So that's there. And so even though it's not in your um, language, you can still figure it out that it's the mint macaron. The last one I'm going to put down is this blank one. And that's going to go inside. So I'm going to open this up. And that goes right here. So that when you actually have your ink pad open and on your desk in front of you, uh, if you're like me, I have several ink pads that maybe open at once, um, and I'm um, always, set, you know, pausing to make sure I'm inking into the right stamp pad. And this little color strip right here helps you to um, see which which pad you're inking into. So that's the three strips that we that I place, and then I grab um, another strip. And if you guys are uh, by the reinkers for the uh, ink pads like I do. I don't actually have any here with me. They're in my Washington home. 
Um, but pretend this is a reanchor bottle. It's I know it's a bottle of stickles, but it's the same size and shape as our reanchors. Um, and so I'll just use this as my example. So what I do is I grab another one of the strips and I just put it around the cap of the bottle, just like that, so that you can easily, without looking at the label, because the reinker color, when the color inside the bottle, is sometimes really dark, and you can't you can't tell just by looking at it what color it is. You have to either read the label or, like I did here, put that color sticker on it. So that's my tip um, for this week. Super simple and possibly very obvious. It wasn't super obvious to me when I started buying Stampin' Up! products, so I just thought I would share that. And the other thing I wanted to share is that the newer colors, like this is a new in color, um, the strips look a little different. Um, there's now, the Japanese language is gone, and um, so I think it's French and German what these are I could be wrong so there's there's three of them that are in the languages of our markets and then there's two blank ones and then I don't know if you can see but this bottom one is ever so slightly skinnier in width here than the other ones this is the one that gets placed inside your tray right here because it's skinnier and it's also just a hair longer so um, on the new ink pads that are coming out, this is the way they come with this one. And I put this inside. This can actually go around your re-inker bottle. And then this one can go in the front. And then it's optional to put another one on the back if you want. So, so yeah. So there's my tip for Tuesday, which is technically Thursday. And um, I'm going to uh, figure out what I'm going to do for next Tuesday's tip. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. If you love this video, I would love for you to like and subscribe and um, leave me a thumbs up or a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks everybody. Bye.